power shower to trickle to power shower to trickle. It's a good job it wasn't a happy shower. Damn. Damn, bro. I'm like, hell yeah, boy. <sighs> to go where the magic happens. Dun. 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 Tonight's the night, baby. We make it happen. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video so again i'm in my kitchen but i'm not staying in there for long because sorting this out sorting it out now my main reason for doing this is because the sun is making the ends go a bit lighter brown and i've got about that much root you can't really see it but trust me in the mirror it's there and also i've got some greys coming through never thought i'd like I've had the odd one throughout my life. Like I've just found one and been like, oh, I've got, I've got a grey. And, and that's it. I think I'm forever going to have grey. But no, I've actually got greys coming through that are coming through around my whole head. So I've gone and treated myself, as you do, to a really nice, I think it's chestnut brown. Anyway, we're going to be putting that on my head. And I've bought some new, there is a fly trying to get out of the kitchen window. And Chase is licking up his water. Yeah, I've got some new products to try on my hair because I needed a new um, heat protection spray. The other one didn't turn up, so I've gone and got another one. And I've got a leave-in conditioner because my hairdresser said, you need to start putting a leave-in conditioner on this. And I'm like, yeah, so let's crack on. Right, so bringing you into the bedroom, I'm going to show you what I got. Oh, it is indeed 5.25 Frosted Chestnut by Garnier this little bad boy and um, that's the shades on the back but my intention is just to get a nice brown coverage over my hair rather than um, different patches and also the old grey that's going in I also got that heat slayer -da -da! and this leave-in conditioner so this smells amazing I think it was like seven or eight pounds but I got it for four pounds like in Sainsbury's so I'm not grumbling at that and the LV was five and that was four pounds something. So all from Sainsbury's. And there we go. In natural light. I haven't washed it for two days. So here we go. Let's see what's inside. You know we're gonna get shitty gloves. The only time I've ever had decent gloves, so I think it was in like the ten or eleven pound boxes. But we have. How bad are they? They're not too bad. I'll give them that, but they're not the greatest. They're not those, um, oh, they're tart on the fingers. They're not those ones that are like old bread style bags, you know, where they're clear, but they've got those prickly little dots all over them. They're the worst ones. Mixing up the little concoction. Um, the reason I'm doing it tonight is because, not that it makes any difference that's when I do it, it's just that I'm meant to be going for an entire family get together tomorrow and also the day after that we're going to Dover and Folkestone so this is the only chance I've got to do it. When I feel like I've got the whole of my scalp done, that's when I start dragging it through the end. So I've still got about half a bottle. So I just squeeze it on my, like that. And then, listen to them. Not long now, parents, not long. The time is coming. The time is coming. God help us. God help us. So I've just hoovered my whole house like a mad sweating, I'm out of breath. Now, it is time to go where the magic happens. Dun. Oh my 
god. Note to self, don't have a shower when the washing machine is on. It went from power shower to trickle, to power shower to trickle. So good job it wasn't a happy shower. Okay, I've got a bit of a predicament. So it says, this is fine. It just says to put onto the ends, work your way up to the roots, look for the dry damaged areas, comb through for even distribution, which is all good on wet, damp hair. Do not rinse. This one, that's my usual one. This one, I'm not going to be drying my hair tonight. I'm not going to finish it tonight because I let my hair dry naturally. I'm not putting a hair dryer on my hair because unless I want to go out looking like I've back brushed my entire entire head it ain't happening I could barely read that right in it's so small but it says shake before use um spray it on damp to dry hair what i'm gonna be doing my hair's gonna be dry by the time i use any heat eyes i can't put that on that on that on and the leave-in conditioner oh god i'm just gonna have to go for it let's see what this has looked like so I'm just going to take, what, that much? Do you reckon that much? Rub it in. And go through it. Just going to put a little bit more at the back because that's why I'm, my main part of dry hair is there. We're literally going all out. So now I'm going to put on my John Frieda um, frizzies all in one because I get frizzy hair. So it's going on. I'm probably not going to put on as much as I normally do. because I've got a, a ton to be putting on my head. This is how I normally put it on. I literally just put it on so that it doesn't go to the ends so much because I then put on my Wonder Water. It's going to be more product than hair by the time I finish with this. God, I smell so good. Nick's going to come home from bike night. He's going to be like that. Damn. Damn, girl. I'm going to be like, hell yeah, boy. Okay, so even though I'm not going to be putting any heat on my hair tonight, I'm just going to let it dry naturally. I am going to spray some. So I'm going to give it a good shake. And then it says to section your hair in three three sections. Well, in my case, it'll probably be like six to nine because it's extremely thick. So and I don't know because I probably... Oh, my hands are slimy from all the product. I can't actually hold it. go all out to see you know i might end up with like the silkiest sleekest hair ever known to the female that's never gonna happen so i'm just gonna brush all that product through now and get it spread through an ambulance has just gone past our window it is currently i don't know half past seven almost eight o'clock at night i'm gonna have to go be nosy I will say before I leave it for tonight and then we see what it's like in the morning, like colour and everything. My hair has never felt so sleek and lovely like it does right now. Tomorrow I'll probably look like a bush, but we never know. It's how I've woken up, ladies and gentlemen. Feels really nice, but it's a bush. So this is how it turned out. Um, oh my God, like my hair is never been that easy to straighten and style like it was just then the color as well i'm gonna do a side by side but it's not a huge wait i'll show you i really really love it and i love the products that i've used like, i'm definitely going to keep on with that because when i was straightening my hair um normally when i straighten i get to the ends and i'm like trying to do that that kink because i want it too flat on my head i like to have a, a wave and um it just did it perfectly so and i can just run my fingers through it this morning when i um got up and it was just this big bushy mess i could still just straight away put a comb through it so yeah i'm really really pleased with it but yeah love this color really really glad i did it it's more even it's a beautiful shade of brown as well. Sometimes it looks really, really dark, and then other times it looks really um, chestnutty. You can really see like a nice autumny brown in there. But yeah, definitely keeping with that one. That is my go-to from now on. I think every three, four months, let's stick that on. 
thanks for watching hope you all have a really great weekend and i will see you all again very very soon